Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've mastered the skill of solving nonlinear systems of equations, we can solve more complicated word problems like this, where we have two numbers where the relationship is a little bit more complicated. So let's say we have two numbers. They tell us that the sum of the first number squared and the second number squared equals 73, and that the difference between the second number squared and three times the first number squared equals, equals 37, find the two numbers. All right, so first let's define the numbers in terms of x and y. So the first number, so let x equal the first number. Okay, let y equal the second number. There we go. Now, the relationships. The sum of the first number squared and the second number squared equals 73. So that means x squared plus y squared equals 73. And now they tell us the difference. The difference between the second number and 3 times the first number. So we do it in that order. So that means the second number squared minus 3 times the first number squared equals 37. All right. Now, what do we do? We solve those simultaneously. And... I think what we need to do is multiply the second one by negative 1, and then we can add them up and eliminate the y's. I think that's the technique. See? So here we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. When we do that, we get a minus y squared plus 3x squared equals a negative 37. And now we can add these two together to eliminate the y's. So let's rewrite them. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 73. And then we have a 3x squared minus y squared equals a negative 37. So notice, if we now add those two equations, here we get 4x squared, the y's drop out, equals, hmm, that looks like, uh, let's see here, 26? That's 43, yep, 26. Divide both sides by 4. We get x squared is equal to 9 which means, oh, whoa, 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 yes, that's what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking about 36 and I wrote 26. Thank you, 36 plus 37 is indeed 73. So now x squared equals nine. That means x is equal to plus or minus the square root of nine or x equals plus or minus three. So we have two possible solutions for x. Let's see what the corresponding solutions are for y. So we have to plug that back into one or two equations. So we can say that if x is equal to positive 3, then we have x squared plus y squared equals 73. x is 3, that means it's 3 squared plus y squared is equal to 73. y squared equals 73 minus 9, or y squared is equal to 64 then y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64, or y equals plus or minus 8. So, that means if x is equal to 3, we have two possible solutions for y. Okay? Now, what if x is equal to negative 3? Oop, negative 3. Then we have x squared plus y squared equals 73. And notice we get the same result because x is squared. So this gives me also a positive 9 plus y squared equals 73 or y squared equals 64. Therefore, y is equal to plus or minus 8. So notice that you get the same result for x equals 3 as you do for x equals minus 3. But that does mean we have four possible solutions. When x equals 3, oh, I don't need that, so let me get rid of that. So the four possible solutions are, when x equals 3, it's 8, or when x equals 3, it's negative 8, or when x equals negative 3, it's 8, or when x equals negative 3, it's negative 8. Those four are all valid solutions to that system of equations. So that means that if the first number is a 3, you square it, the second number is 8, you squared, you get 73. If the first number is 3 and the second number is negative 8 and you square both, you still get 73. That's correct. 
or you could square this one and this one and get 73, or you could square this one and this one and get 73. So in all cases, you get the correct answer. And then if you do it again, using the second condition, again, all four combinations will indeed satisfy the second condition as well. And that is how it's done. One of them is a circle. The other one is a hyperbola. Yes, it is. One is a circle and one is a hyperbola, and they must cross four times somewhere. That's what it means. Very good. Good observation. Circle is easy to draw. <laughs> yeah. Hyperbola, not so easy. All right. What do we have next?